62% of registered voters support plans to deport all illegal aliens. And I'm part of that 62%. Overwhelming majority of Americans want to get rid of these illegal aliens that are not here for, um, for because of persecution. Their economic, their economic um, uh, migrants. So they really don't have to be here from the, because of the letter of the law. The letter of the law states that they be um, they they be um, persecuted to come here. For um, um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. We're gonna show the clip from CBS and show how upset <laughs> CBS is with this um, recent poll. But um, before we get started, go to hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from Slay News' the great Frank Bergman. <clears throat> he reports that a new poll has left corporate media talking head stunned after it showed overwhelming support for mass deportations of illegal aliens. <laughs> Again, I am part of that 62%. According to a new, now this is CBS, CBS YouGov poll, so they can't try to say, oh, this is some type of conservative poll or whatnot. This is from CBS, leftist CBS. 62% uh, of all registered U.S. voters would support plans for the federal government to deport all illegals because they're coming here asking for handouts. They're not coming here um, um, wanting to work like they try to claim because if you look at a lot of the um, illegals in in um, New York and listen to their demands it's crazy they want a luck they want to live in luxury apartments they complain about the food like are y'all serious y'all are not paying for anything and complaining about it so send them all home um the survey found that even one-third of Democrats would back such a policy the so again not even Democrats are supporting this illegal immigration the poll published on Sunday asked registered voters if they would support a new national program to deport all illegal immigrants. The question posed was similar to a plan that has been proposed by President Donald Trump, which means that the majority of Americans support Donald Trump's plan. Trump has promised to carry out the, quote, largest deportation operation in American history if he is reelected in November. A majority of those surveyed also support giving local law enforcement the power to identify illegal immigrants living in the U.S. The poll surveyed 1,615 registered voters across the U.S. between June 5th and June 7th. Posters oversampled people in the seven battleground uh, states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Respondents were a mix of Republicans, Democrats, and Independents. In an interview the Time Magazine earlier this year, um, Trump said, that his massive deportation plans would involve the National Guard. Quote, these aren't civilians. Trump said um, of the hordes of military age male illegal aliens crossing the United States uh, southern border in, um, in record numbers under Democrat President Joe Biden. Quote, these are people that aren't legally in our country. This is an invasion of our country. You have to do what you have to do to stop crime and to stop what's taking place at our border, he added, and I agree with all that. I mean, 2021, Biden, Biden's first year in office, there were an estimated 10.5 million illegal immigrants living in the U.S. Since that time, however, millions more illegal um, immigrants have flooded across the border. Customs and Border Protection has reported around 8 million south, um, west, um, um, southwest land border encounters with the legal aliens over the past three and a half years. That number doesn't uh, count gotaways or have crossed into the U.S. without detection. So, I mean, so the number can be crazy. We really don't know. According to Border Patrol, there have been an estimated 1.7 million gotaways under the Biden administration. Uh, the, the CBS poll also found wide support for Biden's recently signed executive order on on the border that Trump and Republicans have slammed as weak. And it is because he's allowing, still allowed, uh, still allowing them to come in here up to 2,500. So how is that protecting the border by allowing them to come here illegally? 
But um, the president's executive order will shut down temporary asylum requests if the average of daily um, border encounters hits 2,500 among official ports of entry. Now, um, back in, um, back under, I think, yeah, back under Obama, Obama's own people said that anything above 1,000 um, illegal immigrants coming in, we can't handle. But he want to allow 2,500 in. <clears throat> Among those surveyed by CBS News, 70% said they approve of Biden's latest action on the border, while 30% disapprove. I disapprove. It does absolutely nothing. It actually encourages them to bring to come in because they're still allowing them in, like I said. But Trump, however, was the most uh, was the most trusted by those surveyed to decrease illegal border crossings. 70% of respondents said Trump policies would decrease crossings. Because we we have we already know what happened under him. It decreased under him. We know that. But only twenty percent said Biden policies would do the same. I would like to talk to that twenty percent that believe that Biden really wanna <laughs> would would do something to the border. But forty nine percent of those surveyed said Biden's policies would increase illegal uh, border crossings, and that's what I believe. Trump continues to lead Biden in the twenty twenty four presidential race, according to the poll. The 45th president is standing at 50% nationally. Biden, meanwhile, came at uh, 49%. On Sunday's Face the Nation on CBS, host Margaret Brennan was stunned at how a strong majority of Americans backed mass deportations, particularly the support from Democrats. Brennan thinks deporting illegals is wildly impractical. Really? So we're just supposed to keep them here and continue to front, front, front the bill for them? However, doesn't seem to think it's widely impractical to allow all these um, people um, untrammeled entry into America. That's, that was the same point I made. But CBS um, News polling guy Anthony Solvanto explained, um, we tested that um, in a general way in principle. Oh, so let me just get the clip here instead of me having to read what they said. So here's the clip. <clears throat> Put on my headphones. Okay, let's listen to what she has to say. Here we go. Because this 62% of Americans favor deporting all undocumented immigrants. So Homeland Security says that President Biden has already deported or repatriated more people in the past year than any year since 2010. And then depending on the details of what's talked about on the campaign trail, some of what Mr. Trump talks about could be illegal. It doesn't seem practical in some sense to round up children um how is it Ill illegal <laughs> how is it illegal to take people that came into this country illegally and send them back where they came from how is that illegal that's not illegal that is not illegal because they are criminals we can send criminals back to where they came from she is full of crap and then we know that the courts have questioned whether local authorities would have the ability to do it and federal authorities don't have the resources. So what exactly do people think they're supporting? Well, when you measure public sentiment on this or really just about any policy, you're getting a sense of direction, you're getting broad brushstrokes, but those kinds of details, well, that's often up to the legislatures and the courts later on. We tested even the idea of should local law enforcement be involved in this? And a lot of folks do say yes. Again, the details of that, the specifics, you're not going to pick that up in an aggregate public opinion. They weren't tracking the Supreme Court decisions. <laughs> Undoubtedly not. But look. <laughs> I mean, these people, these leftists are crazy. They don't, they don't have their posts on the zeitgeist like we do. Um, m the majority of the people do not want to uh, continue to foot the bill for these illegal aliens. But let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And um, check out JJTheCycletherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.